We're now going to be calculating the gradient of a line joining two points by using a formula and not a sketch. So we're going to do the same two examples we did in the previous lesson. So part A, we want to get the gradient of the line joining minus 3, 5 and 6, 14. So what we do is we label the x and y coordinates of each point. So if we take the first point, we label the x coordinate x1 so you notice that the little one is low down after the x so this is the x coordinate of point 1 and then we're going to label the y coordinate of point 1 we're going to call it y1 with a little one low down beside the y we then move on to point 2 we label the x coordinate x2 because that's the x coordinate of point 2 and then we label the y coordinate of point 2, y2. So label the points carefully. Don't get the 1s and 2s mixed up. What I mean by that is don't label a point with x coordinate x1 and then call the y coordinate y2. That would be wrong. So the 1s stay together and the 2s stay together. Now once we've labeled both points, we then write down the formula for the gradient. So the formula for the gradient of a straight line is given by m equals y2 minus y1. And that's all divided by x2 minus x1. So please be careful. The gradient is the difference in the y coordinates divided by the difference in the x-coordinates. So think about it. Do you remember we were talking about rise over run? The rise is the difference in the y-coordinates and the run is the difference in the x-coordinates. So it's the same idea. So gradient m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. All we do now is sub the values for y2, y1, x2 and x1 into the formula. So y2 is just 14, so replace y2 with 14, we don't need to put it in brackets, it's not negative, doesn't have a coefficient, doesn't have a visible power, then copy down our minus, y1 is 5, again just replace y1 with 5, and then that's all over, on our bottom line we've got x2 is 6, and then we are subtracting, copy down your minus, and then x1 is just minus 3. So we're now subbing in a negative. Make sure we put it in brackets. So the top line is just 14 subtract 5, which is going to give us 9. And that's all over. Now be careful. On the bottom line, you have two minuses side by side, which will give you a plus. So be careful. Minus, and then another minus beside it gives you a plus. So that becomes 6 plus 3, which is going to give us 9. And then 9 divided by 9 is just going to give us 1. And what you'll realize is that was the answer we got when we used the sketch method. So flick back through your notes and just check that we got 1 for the sketch method when we did it. And we did. So we got 1 as before. Now, the gradient is positive, so that's telling us, even though we didn't sketch this line, this line is sloping upwards, and the value of the gradient is 1. So it's not really steep, but it is sloping upwards. Okay, example B then, again, it's the same example B we did in the last lesson, except we're using the formula method. So we want to find the gradient of the line joining these two points. So we're going to label the two points. This is point 1. So we're going to label the x-coordinate x1. We're going to label the y-coordinate y1. And we're going to do exactly the same with point 2. We're going to label the x-coordinate x2. And we're going to label the y-coordinate y2. So again, we're going to write out our gradient formula, which we need to learn. So the gradient formula is m equals y2 minus y1. So it's the difference in the y-coordinates, that's the rise, divided by 
x2 minus x1. So that's the difference in the x coordinates, that's the run. So sub in the values then. So y2 is just negative 2, so put it in brackets because we're subbing in a negative. Copy down the minus in the formula. And then y1 is just 8, so we're just replacing y1 with 8. And then that's all over. So x2 is just 2. Copy down the minus in the formula. And then x1 is just minus 20. So again, we got to put it in brackets because we're subbing in a negative. Okay, let's tidy up the top line. Minus 2 subtract 8 is negative 10. And then again, on the bottom line, we have two minuses side by side. So again, they're going to combine to give you a single plus. So if you have two signs beside each other that are the same, they'll give you a plus. If you have two signs beside each other that are different, they'll combine to give you a single minus. So on the bottom line, we've got 2 plus 20, which is going to give us 22. And then we're going to have to cancel the fraction then this time that we're left with. So largest number that goes into 10 and 22 is 2. So divide both by 2. We're going to get 5 and we're going to get 11. We also need to sort out the sign. We're dividing a minus by a positive. So our answer is going to be negative. And then line it up with your fraction line. And then the numerator is just 5 and the denominator is just 11. So that is our answer for part B. So the gradient of the line joining the two points is negative 5 over 11. So what we're saying is, even though we didn't sketch the line joining these two points, we know from the gradient, because it's negative, that the line slopes down. And the value of the gradient is only 5 11, so it wouldn't be that steep. So the line would look something like that if I were to sketch it. You know, something like that. It wouldn't be that steep at all. And again, check that you got the same answer using the sketch method, and we did in the previous lesson.